Boating is definitely one of those things that can be a little bit tricky when you get out there. It's not like driving a car where you can typically see everything that's in front of you. A lot of times there's going to be things below you that you just aren't sure that are there. And when you wind up running into them, it's not a good time. Just like some of the things we'll see in this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. Now, of course, there are plenty of things for you to run into out there on the water. As we just witnessed in the first clip, and as we see in this clip as well, where this cruise decided they were going to go ahead and hang it out on the sandbar. But unfortunately for this crew, it's not the kind of sandbar situation where they want to be hanging out. They were coming back into port and they wound up hitting it. You've always got to use excess caution, especially when you're boating in areas you're not familiar with. And anytime you see any kind of waves white capping like this, you always want to use a little extra caution because that typically means you might be in a shallower area. And of course, the result's not always good as that crew wound up capsizing the boat and having to get it towed in by sea tow. Now, things below the water like sandbars and other things you can hit aren't the only things you're gonna run into out there on the water. Sometimes you're gonna wind up running into things that you very easily can see. Sometimes you'll see these things out on the water and you'll have to ask them to get out of your way and other times they're objects you can't ask to move and you have to use your best judgment. But for whatever reason, as we've seen over and over again on this channel, when we get out there on the water, somehow our judgment tends to get a little cloudy and we wind up trying to do things that either we know we shouldn't do or just that our vessels or ourselves are not quite capable of performing. But it's not just on the water. Of course, we do this on land when we're going to go boating as well. Sometimes we'll be towing down to the ramp and we'll run into a couple obstacles in our path and again have to use that right judgment call to make sure it all works out and for whatever reason on land it's just the same as on the water that judgment can get a little cloudy maybe we get excited about the thought of actually being out there and enjoying ourselves on the water for a day that we just forget things and i'm gonna be honest too as a boater there are plenty of times where i've started to get my stuff ready to go and head down to the water and you wind up making a boneheaded mistake because you were rushing or maybe you went the opposite way and you made that boneheaded mistake because you were just lounging around relaxing and then all of a sudden you find yourself in a situation you wind up having to rush and then the mistakes well they get elevated But of course, rushing on the water can cause you to wind up running into things as well. Just like when you decide, I'm not going to go through the channel, I'm going to go ahead and take that shortcut. But again, anytime you see breaking water that's randomly in one spot, probably a spot that you want to avoid, and especially if you don't see any other boats trying to go down the path you're going, especially if there's a marked channel next to you, you probably need to stay in that marked channel, and some people find this one out the very, very hard way. Now, of course, one of the other things you can run into when you're out there on the water, that's going to be when you're coming in trying to dock your vessel. Another one of those things we see people hit all the time. Sometimes they're coming in just a little too hot. Once again, never approach anything any faster than you're willing to hit it because the reality is if you come in a little too hot, you might not like the results. And then, of course, there are other things such as the water that might decide to hit you when you're out there. The last thing you want to do is get caught up in the whitewash in the surf. No and of course, one thing that can hit you is a storm as well. was going to be enough to keep their boat secure. Well, apparently the dumbbell isn't enough, which means this boat winds up hitting land as well. And speaking of hitting things, well, one other thing we can hit out there, not land, but it's gonna be the water. When we get out there, decide we're gonna send her just a little too hard. Again, you never know how that one will wind up, but you could find yourself in the drink. Now, you don't always have to send her a little too hard to wind up in the drink. Sometimes you'll be being as cautious as you can be, just trying to be safe and get it done. And the next thing you know, you're in the drink as well. Thanks for watching, crew. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Captain Jason, Adam Coolidge, Foolish Fish Company, Gypsy Soul, Haley O'Jane, Jack B47, Carrie Miller, Papa Zuck, and Zig Perrette did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.